green, red, black, toilet tubes, paint brushes, a glue stick, some clean water, some string, a piece of paper, and some scissors. Knit shoe should have these four colours. Lovely. I'm gonna flatten it like so. Cut one side. Then cut the other. So it looks like this. Ooh. Then with the spare bit, gonna cut a little V. Get a parent's help with this because it's difficult. So you've got a little V looking like that, like a little snake's tongue. Get your glue stick, glue the end of the tongue, this bit, and stick it to the bottom of your tube. Now that your tongue's glued in, we're gonna glue the inside of the tube, like so, on both sides, so we know it sticks. So while that dries, we're going to grab another tube and cut it in half, like that. Once we've done that, we're going to twist it into a point like so so it looks just like a point then you're gonna get your glue stick and glue all of this here just like that While that's drying, let's get on to painting our tube. So you're going to get one of your paint brushes and start painting this whole tube green. Like so. And you're going to paint the whole entire tube until it's green. As you can see, I have completely painted the toilet roll. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry. Now that our tail is dry, we're going to grab our scissors and cut it off so it's nice and level at the bottom, like so. With our A4 piece of paper, we're going to cut it in half. And twist this into a nice pointed cone just like the toilet roll. Now that you have your roll, you're going to glue the sides again so it sticks. Okay, so now that we have a nice tube, cylinder, we're going to get the other piece made out of toilet roll and slot it in so it looks nice and pointy like a tail. To make it safer, you can use some glue to stick it in and hold it in place so it doesn't fall out which is what I'm about to do now. Okay, so while that's drying, let's check on the head. So as you can see, the head is all dry and stick together, stuck together, and now it's ready for some paint. So you're gonna paint the whole of the head green and then the tongue red. So 
that's the head all nice and painted let's move on to the tongue there we go and that's the tongue all painted so we're going to set that off and let that dry now now the body of the snake is now dry so we're going to go grab clean our paint brushes and then paint the bottom yellow for the belly to know that we got a nice clean brush let's paint the belly yellow so now we have a nice yellow belly for our snake to slither on. Now that our tail is dry, we're going to paint the whole thing green. And there we go, we have a nice green tail, so we're going to wait for that to dry and then come back to it. Okay, now that the paint has dried, we're going to do a nice yellow belly. There we go, a nice yellow belly. We're gonna go let that dry and we're gonna go finish off the head. The head is now dry, so we're gonna add some details onto it. With the other half of the paper, we're gonna cut some small rectangles for eyebrows. A rectangle that big will be fine. And then you're gonna cut that in half and half again. You may need a parent's help for this. Now that we have our two pieces, we're gonna stick them onto our head to make little eyebrows. There we go, so the eyebrows are now painted on and stuck down. Now it's time to draw the features. So with the black, you're gonna dab it, do a nice line down the middle of the tongue. You're gonna dab back in again and do some nostrils, one here, and one here. Now that we have the nostrils, it's time to move on to the eye. So we're gonna start on this side, do an eye here, and on the other side, draw an eye here, And that's your snake face ready to go. The body is now dry, so we're going to do some lines across the belly to make it look more like a tum-tum. There we go, so now we have some lines on the belly, so it can slither along. Now that the tail is dry, we're going to do the same again, black lines on the belly. Just like that. There we have it. The finish tail of the snake. Now all we need to do now is assemble it. Now that everything is made, you're going to want to grab your scissors and your string. And poke holes here. 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 And here. For the head, you want to poke them here and here. For the tail, you want to poke them here and here. All the holes are now done. There. And there. There. And there. And there. What you're going to do now is get your string for one side, twist the top, 
make a little loop and loop it through the head of your snake like so so it comes out just like that and you're gonna pull it all the way to the end just like that uh, now that you have it looped through you're gonna get your body make sure the belly is face down so the belly is down like that and you're gonna get the string again and you're gonna loop it under this through that and now we loop through here through this hole Loop your string through. So it starts coming together. Now finally with the tail, we're gonna make sure the belly is face down and loop the string through this hole here. Now that you have it looped through, tie a knot off at the end with your string. To make sure it doesn't, it can't go through. Now that you have one half done, cut off any excess string that you don't need. Now that you have this side all cleaned up, you want to do the same for the other side, looping the rope through. So there you have it. As you can see, I've tied the strings off in the insides of both the tail and the head. Now you don't have to just have a short snake. You can have a snake like this one, made by Bailey, which is many tubes. And you can have it different colors, different textures, but yeah, that's it.